because the way it works is no one knows you. The students have to understand, but if we want to train them for the real world, we have to prepare them now. You have to go out now as a freshman and start talking to people and convince them to come and sit in your chair. As a barber freshman, you have to convince the guy to come to you in the classroom for you to be able to service them because if we just let them only do each other until clients come in, how are they going to learn the principles of how to be able to market to get the people in the door. So to me, it should also should be an individual situation where the, where even though the teacher tells you to do it, where you on your own is getting on the phone and say, hey, I need, I need, can you bring little Johnny and, and Papoose in on Saturday because I need to practice on doing the shape up and blah, blah, blah. You as the student have to take the opportunity. Anything, but I don't want to go, we can go over that a little bit later. We don't want to get into that. Go ahead. One thing that I do like, and this is very good to take note, everybody. No, I, I do. Wait, wait a second. I do like the fact that I raised my hand and you kept y'all paying attention. Yes. I raised my hand and you kept going. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, we can't stop teaching every time a student hand go up because oftentimes that may break your flow of concentration, and someone like me may forget what I was saying. Mm -hmm. 